to talk about cookie cutter advice and this has been a pet peeve of mine and uh, people in their desire to help or make themselves look good uh, some for whatever reason sometimes uh, people have a question or they have a problem sometimes serious sometimes not and oftentimes there's what I call cookie cutter advice what I consider cookie cutter advice to be is that answer that everybody gives you is the first answer that comes to their head and everybody gives you the same answer and this answer really when you think it through it doesn't it usually work well, I want to say a lot of times it doesn't work uh, for example someone may have a problem with a repair or maybe a problem with a relationship or a problem with uh, their pet or maybe a car issue uh, there are some things where you need a professional but there are some things where the solution is a bit more intricate and complicated I like for example I saw where someone was having an immediate electrical problem or there was a mechanical problem so in this case a lot of people used YouTube and Google for their cookie cutter advice and I'm not saying it doesn't work but the advice everybody was saying the same thing and the advice was like one step onto a complicated path to their solution it was just the first step in some cases it probably resolved their solution I think they, they everybody suggested oh cutting off the power first and then uh, open this panel and then click that panel I mean, it wasn't anything uh, complicated for an electrician, but maybe for a layperson or a little bit, if somebody's not familiar with that type of thing at all. And uh, I say, sometimes I wanted people to think things through when they give this advice. One common uh, advice that is a pet peeve of mine is when people are having financial problems. And then there are those people that say, oh, get another job, a second job, work harder. And I'm like, do you think this thing through when you say it? If, let's say, if you have a, some, a professional, they may, they, may, they may make 50, 60K a year, and they commute an hour each way. Where should they get this second job? Okay, at what time? Like, you can't just go pick this from a tree. I mean, even in some places, it's, it's hard for, like, let's say you're a professional, you're just looking for a waiter job or waitress job. Let's say you are looking for something on the side. It's not that simple for a lot of people to just walk in and say, hey, I'd like to work this job. Like, I just wonder people think things through when they give this off advice. Even if they attempted to do it, right? You're commuting, you get off work. You gotta find time to eat. What do you do? You live off McDonald's before you go to your second job? Does that mean you sacrifice your health? Right? Is this second job gonna cost more to obtain and maintain than the actual pay of the job. Like, I think when people should think things through before they give an answer, it just kind of it kind of just comes off as just uh, starting off at the mouth. They'll say, oh, cut this expense, cut that expense. We don't know. Each individual has their own specific challenges, and sometimes uh, they have to carve out their way, uh, so to speak. Yeah, some of the solutions, I would say, they maybe add to helping out. I'm not going to say you throw away every solution that's offered, but it's not going to resolve the problem every single time. And I'm talking the common advice people give, and we've all done it where people give us cookie cutter advice, and it doesn't really work. It's just something they say, right? You want to resolve a problem, they say, go to this place. And maybe this place just has you fill out a form and put you on a waiting list. Like maybe it's their specialty to just solve this particular problem, but it's not something that can be, you know, fixed 100%, much less overnight. Maybe they could address your problem, maybe 60% of your problem, and the rest you have to live with without the 40% being resolved. I just always wonder when I see people asking for advice and I see these, and I just I shake my head. Sometimes I think it's better to offer empathy. Just offer empathy first. I think that goes a long way, right? Offer empathy. Like I always say, hey, you're the expert in your problem. Like you're only giving me limited information here. 
Like, I think you know all the details and you may not know how to communicate all the specifics to me. Like, I may offer some suggestions and I will say this, I'll say, hey, I don't know if this is gonna work. I know how you feel. I understand your frustration. But I'm not just gonna stand on that soapbox as if I'm an expert on their problem, on their specific problem, and give cookie cutter advice. It's, it's really, it's sometimes you cause a person to be more uh, discouraged than motivated. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna go out and solve their own problem, but sometimes it's like a step back asking certain people. And sometimes people ask, again, just to get some understanding. Uh, whether it be you know, dealing with an issue that requires uh, dealing with a, a law, a court, uh, addressing repair issues again, uh, going on trips, how to you know, navigate in certain environments. I just think that take time to pause and say, offer first, just offer empathy first. That's what I say. Because you get a lot of people, especially in YouTube comments, they just attack someone asking for advice. Well, you should have done this, and you should have done that, and you should have done this. And I'm not gonna say there are scenarios where the person could have done something to prevent it. But at this point, what's the solution? Don't say you shouldn't have or you should have. At this point, they need solutions, not uh, brow beating or the, the verbal beatdown. Do you have a viable solution or do you just want to get a, a high, right? A, uh, what do they call it? Uh, an emotional high of brow beating someone. Or that, that um, the chemical release of, you know, the, every emotion has a chemical release. Maybe you get off on, you know, telling people that they feel. I don't know. But uh, this is just a pet peeve of mine. Uh, cookie cutter advice. Uh, write a comment. Let me know what you think. And I really appreciate you for listening. Uh, you can send me an email. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.